Last night, I was uh, going to help my mom make a cake, and she had wanted, or we had wanted to use these two square pins, and we ended up using just a 13 by 9 dripper pin instead. This one's aluminum, and this pan, I actually had to bend the bottom because normally it's uh, convex, so I had to bend it to try to make it concave, and I did manage to do that, but uh, the th reason why we ended up using the dripper pan instead of the square pans <clears throat> was because of the rust that's showing here all around this one. And this has been actually washed since last night, uh, and the rust is still there. <clears throat> what I was going to do is, these are some old pans. This was my great-grandmother's pan. Uh, it's actually smaller than these newer ones. Uh, Mom said that these pans are probably only less than five years old. This is actually an aluminum pan. She used to have a pair of them. And they've been well used. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how old they are. This one was my great grandmother's, though, and my mom figures it's at least several decades old. My uh, great grandmother has been dead since before I was born, so. <clears throat> I wanted to just test this pan it's an older pan it just metal uh, I don't know what kind of metal but I wanted to see the thickness so I got a board to put alongside the lip there so I can put the caliper on it do the same thing with those newer pans because these are really thin uh, it's just interesting to me that the new pans don't hold up as well as the old pans a few years old and it's already rusting to the point where you can't or you don't want to use that to cook with uh, that just not something we opted not to use it and here's this old pan I don't even know what it's made out of metal uh, looks like still I could be wrong on the based on the bends but it's just an old, well-used pan, and I, it looks like it's showing a little bit of rust on the outside there, so it probably is still. Maybe it, too, has a coating. I don't know. But it's sure holding up a lot better than these pans that my mom said are less than uh, five years old. But that was just something I wanted to do. I thought that this was considerably thicker. I guess if I actually did thousandths of an inch I might be able to get a better read and I may look at that and when I edit it and see if I can read it but it's still morning I haven't had coffee but this was just something I wanted to show because the newer baking pans just aren't holding up uh, and I don't even it doesn't even say on it what they are oh see there's rust on the outside uh, doesn't say who made them, where they were made, what they're made out of, anything. Of course, this old pan doesn't either, but uh, I actually much prefer this older pan to these newer pans, but that's just my that's just me. Uh, I might even post this video. Well, I woke up enough to do this. I measured the block. It is actually... Uh, 696 thousandths of an inch and then I actually remeasured all of these this one when you subtract the 696 thousandths is 44 thousandths thickness there and these two are 13 to 14 thousandths so this is actually three times thicker the metal after you subtract the 696 thousandths for the block I was using um, and for some reason it 
whatever metal they used for this and it may or may not be coated. I don't know if that's just uh, oven darkening or what. But this is definitely actually three and a half times as thick uh, if it's 13 thousandths. This is just a much, much better pan. Uh, but I guess it just comes down to the disposable uh, lifestyle and uh, what was it? J.P. Morgan telling uh, oh, Edison, I believe, that his light bulb needed to burn out so that people would buy more. Well, that must be the same type thing. The pan's got to rust so people get throw it away or repurpose it for something else, a pot planter or something, and don't keep something that works for decades, centuries, however long, however old this pan that was my great grandmother's is. It's uh, Sunday morning and mom's at church. I'm actually watching her dog, the blind deaf dog, while she's there. <clears throat> Pardon me. She asked me if uh, I was going to frost the cake. And I said, no, you are. Uh, and like I said, no coffee this morning. Uh, hadn't taken into account the fact that the reason why she asked me was because she can't see very well. She has 20-20 vision since the cataract surgery. However, the cataract surgery didn't do anything for the blind spots that the strokes in her eyes did. So she sees a puzzle with pieces missing. So I uh, frosted the cake just real quick. Didn't do a real great job, but not too bad. But that's not really the point of this. Um, what I want to do is show you the tool I use. So I'm going to do that. All my life, I remember these uh, utensils being around. This is actually the one that I used to uh, frost the cake. <clears throat> However, these uh, utensils have always been around and I've always liked them. Uh, look at the thickness of that uh, metal on this uh, pancake turner is what I call it. Uh, serving spoons, ladle, uh, barbecue fork, whatever you want to call that. And then there's this one, which is like I said, the one that I use to uh, flip, do the cake with. Bella's in the background making noise, but uh, we'll deal with that. Um, it's about similar thickness to the blade on the pancake turner. But this is actually, I looked, and they say household stainless. And these four, at least, say Japan. This, the turner here says uh, USA. Mom said she had another spoon or something that went with it. I'm not sure that this has two rivets. These have three or peening or however they did these. Uh, but this is the one that I used to do it. I do like these tools that are very well made. Uh, the only thing that I think would make them better is if the handle was uh, one piece metal. She actually has a slotted spoon that's that way. Uh, I don't know where it's at at the moment. Uh, but I know it was out yesterday. She used it for something. Um, but I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, please feel free to share any video of mine. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Whatever suits your fancy.